Welcome back to Timamina Teaching. My goodness, you are at your fourth lesson for Term 1. Can you believe that time has flown by so quickly? If you are new to this platform, please go back and re-watch all of our lessons that we have done so far. That way, you will be certainly updated with all of the relevant information. We have quite a bit of work to do today, but I'm sure you are excited. Are you ready? We will be looking at circular flows in this lesson. Now you may be wondering, what is a circular flow? They are various movements of products, services and money that economists need to keep track of in a country. The circular flow in the economy displays how money and products flow from producers to households and back to producers again. Circular flows consist of four important aspects. Firstly, we see that the flow of money or products and services occurs between households and businesses. The money or products and services flow through two very important markets that you already learned about in grade 8. The first market is the goods and services market, which show the production and sale of goods and services. The factor market indicates all the factors of production used by businesses and offered by households. Can you still remember what the four factors of production are? two circular flows we will have a look at in this lesson. The first circular flow is called the real flow. The real flow shows the movement of goods and services from households to businesses and the usage of factors of production. Let's use Kamva of Ikasi Kofu Company as an example. Kamva is part of a household of four people. He offers his labor, which is a factor of production, to the business as he produces and sells coffee to many customers. This takes place on the factor market. The goods, or in this case coffee, is offered to households on the goods market. Olivia, a customer, buys a cup of coffee every day on her way to work. The coffee was bought on the goods market. Grade nines, you will see that the flow of this diagram is a clockwise flow. Pause this video and try and explain this diagram to the person sitting next to you. If you are alone, that's okay. You can share it loud and proud to yourself. The second circular flow is the monetary flow. This flow explains the direction of money which flows through the economy. Let's take Kamva and Ikasi Kofu Company as an example again. Kamva spends money on the goods market to buy goods and services that he needs from businesses. Secondly, the money that businesses receive from households who buys goods and services is known as income. The businesses use the income to pay for the factors of production like labor or natural resources. The employees and owners of the business then receive income for their households in return for their factors of production. Great nights. Now it's your turn. Pause this video and explain to your study buddy what the monetary flow is. Are you ready? Grade 
grade nines, if we look at the circular flow, it seems that there is a very important party missing. Can you guess who this is? We'll put the timer up and see if you get it right. The first person to get it right will get a sweetie from their teacher. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Could you guess who this party is? I'm sure you did. It is the government. The government plays an important role in the circular flow as well. The government receives tax in the form of VAT for goods and services that are bought and sold. Secondly, businesses and households also have to pay tax to the government in the form of income tax. And it's not always a pleasant thing to pay tax. These are two main sources of income which governments receive. But as you've learned in grade 8, there are many sources of income. And so we have come to the end of term 1. Well done grade 9s! To revise your work, remember to complete the self-marking assessment and be sure that you understand everything we have done in this lesson. Remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription icon below. That way you will receive notifications for our Term 2 video lessons. See you next time! Bye!